Welcome to India. Everyone calm down, don't panic. It's possible we'll die here. Don't worry about it. We should ask the seven dwarves for Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more. There's more. Yeah, we're gonna go this one. Build four. Coach, coach, coach. 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 What? Yeah, I want my glove, bro. Thanks. Uh, I am Emir Can. Uh, I am the translator. Just it. <laughs> New translator, young guy. 20, yes, 20 years 20. old. Doing a good job. Rugby player. Thank you. Yep. And he's got aerospace engineering, right? Yes. And going to med school. I mostly knew his name. I just needed to hear him say it one more time. <laughs> um, names are a struggle out here just because of the pronunciation, but we're getting through it. But appreciate you helping me out. It's nice having a translator again. Uh, Faiza will be missed. She did an awesome job, but 
it's his time now. Kizu <laughs> Jahamam. That was a good take. <laughs> he just broke your leg. So it's about 9.15. I'm up on the mountain fields. Uh, the boys are over there doing conditioning uh, with Yusuf, their conditioning coach. And one of, the, one of the unique things about teaching a group like this is that they, a lot of them are very good athletes and you're teaching them, I'm teaching them things that I would normally teach a younger player uh, but at a more advanced age so I'm teaching basics and foundational stuff and uh, yeah not there we go not capable ah! anymore, but because that's just you know where their learning progression is like that looks all, and they so pick up stuff on, move, they pick up Utku. on stuff really really fast nice Utku. so looks it's good, cool dude. seeing a drill that usually I would give to an American kid it takes him a month to get good at it they can get good at it in a couple days because developmentally they're ready and it's not a challenge they just haven't been exposed to it yet and this camp is also really unique so in the US I don't know maybe the best of the best you know maybe this is how Team USA works I'm not really sure but these kids have been away from their homes for three weeks now and they're just in the hotel they eat all their meals in the hotel and they're just here to play baseball for a month which is pretty unique and pretty awesome they're probably pumped that they're missing school and the players and coaches have been really good about uh, understanding and taking into stride some of the, just the longevity that they're gonna have to have to really become good at baseball. Because, you know, they ask questions uh, beyond just like the physical things like, you know, how do we throw a slider? How do we throw a curveball? But, you know, one of the coaches the other day asked said, hey, we have a really just tough time squaring up the ball. How do we get better at doing that? And I said, well, if you look at a major league player, he's probably taking a couple hundred swings every day and then in the game. And he's probably been doing this since he was eight years old. So he's probably taken one to two million swings in his life and he's seen hundreds of thousands of pitches. So he's got a catalog and his brain instantly, you know, recognizes slider spin and curveball spin and a fastball that's gonna be below the strike zone or above the strike zone. So I said, you know, give your kids 50,000 swings and you know 20,000 pitches and then you'll start to see a lot of improvement which is which is unfortunately true about baseball it's unique compared to other sports where it isn't just all right we've taught you a swing you know go hit two doubles and and a triple in the next game so the question is now how do I leave and what do I leave the players and coaches with so they can continue to get better in my absence because as I know with the players back in America, they have a lesson with me. If they don't go home and work on it and have some sort of resource to fall back on, whether that's another lesson with me next week or a video or something, they don't get better because they need to continually improve at their technique of a drill, of a, mo of a movement, whatever it is. So I've been working on a document that have links for them. I've been working on translating my YouTube videos into... Turkish subtitles as well as I've done Italian, Spanish, uh, Russian, and Bulgarian. And so hopefully when I leave I can have an outline for them with links where they can continue to go back and refer to the drills that we've done because otherwise you know you can't just have people come in for a clinic and then leave with that all their knowledge and then all right well how did we do that drill or how did he hold that slider or how did we you know what was the hand action on that change up that's the kind of stuff where they need to be able to refer back to something to make long-term progress. And fortunately, the kids, you know, have access to YouTube and all that other stuff, but there's just not a lot of, number one, baseball instruction in general on YouTube, which is kind of crazy. But B, there's not a lot of uh, translation or anything in their language either. So that's my goal is to leave them with a resource that they can fall back on. <laughs> Take it, be all that's not